Can you do a slip knot? Chain six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Second chain from the hook, not the first one, but the second one, you do a single crochet insert hook, pull up the yarn, yarn over, go through two. On the next chain next to it, you do a double crochet, yarn over, insert hook, pull up the yarn, go through two go through two. The next chain next to it, you do a triple where you do twice around the yarn, around your hook, insert through the chain, pull up the yarn, around two, around two, around two. The next chain, you do a double, yarn over, insert hook, the yarn through two through two the last one you do a single crochet you just insert the hook pull up the yarn yarn over through both when you've got your tail you just do a slip stitch into that tail you turn your work around you should have something like this Working where the towel part is, we're going to be doing the opposite of what we've just done. Where the single crochet was, we're going to do a single crochet, just where the tail is, in the same where we've done the slip stitch. You insert your hook, pull up the yarn through both. The next chain, you do a double crochet, yarn over, insert hook. Pull up the yarn around two, around two, so it's double on double, and you've got the treble on top of the treble. So you yarn over twice, insert the hook, pull up the yarn around twice, around twice, around twice, and where you've got the double, you're going to do a double yarn over, insert the Pull up two, pull up two. The last one, just do a single crochet, single crochet on top of the single crochet. Insert hook. Pull it up. You can leave a strand for sewing in your mouth. So, cut that part off. that part in, pull up the strand, you should have something, it's like a circle that gives you the dome for the mouth, and this is the part where you'll be stitching onto the beak, onto your chick for the beak to open and close. So you just we re you weave you weave this one in. Just weaving in into the back part of the work that we've just done. You can go back and forth if you like and cut your strand off. Don't need that part. You get your needle 
and you weave in the other part, squeeze the wool if it doesn't go through. And you can bring it in slightly at the back so that you can crochet the dot the center. Now you've got it in the back part and you've got the good part where you want your beak to be opening and closing. And this part will be stitched onto the onto your chick. You'll work in the center. You'll stitch it in into the center.